just ended up reworking all my graphics cards on my rigs. Um, ended up redoing the brand new wire uh, shelf, right? A wire rack, so I could use the GPU hangers. Um, I just ordered some more. So, and then this is the B250 uh, B250C motherboard that can do. 12 graphics cards so I got all my AMD cards right there and then I got all my Nvidia cards except for one other AMD but this was in my bedroom this rig right here and then I had a 1660 on there I was mining all that up until the ha havening and I'm still gonna end up mining uh, Ravencoin but then everything else was on ETH just uh, so I could ROI everything. As of right now, it's like the big snowball effect. One card paid started with my one 1080. That card right there is what I first started on. I started back in March, and this is where I'm sitting at right now. I got 40 cards. I just picked up my 40th card. Which was this uh, 2070 MSI Dual. So yeah, that's right where I'm sitting at right now. This would probably put me over 1.1 giga hash. But yeah, started with one card, you know, the snowball effect. That card invested whatever that card paid off and then just kept reinvesting. I'd literally say probably a good three quarters of this it's already ROI'd itself. So that's where I'm sitting at right now. Still got all my Grow 10 stuff going. I'm still mining Raptori Raptorium on my five uh, CPUs. Got a couple videos on all that. I, I didn't switch off to mine anything else. Um, these two rigs right here, the uptime is 33 days right now for the miner. And then because I had to end up redoing the, um, what was it, uh, the 24 pin Pico. So that I actually had to reset that one. But these are the 33900Xs. And then I got a 3800X and then a 3950X in that one. Um, still mining at, what was it, 3.9 gigahertz at one bolt. Still got everything still on a server 750 watt server power supply um i'm running that on normal 120 as normal in a couple of my other videos i ended up getting more of my cables in i just kind of dangled them over got my whole pdu the, that's a six foot long pdu that goes around the corner but yeah that's right where i'm sitting right now today's date i wanted to say what was it though 11th i think something like that maybe the 12th anyways i work overnights so my days and nights get all confused but yeah gonna probably end up spending the next maybe a couple hours retransferring all my overclock settings and hive os from one rig to the next but at least now i got them all laid out so like that one's all 2070s or 2070 supers that's kind of a mixed rigs of like 1070s and 1060s. And then uh, this one's all 1070 TIs and a couple 1070s, but those are all the for the wind cards. And pretty much 1660s and TIs and supers. And then um, I got three 1050 TIs. And then uh, I think it was a 560 4 gig. And then I still have a P104 right there. I got it undervolted and whatnot. But yeah, I'm still pumping out probably about 34, 35 uh, mega hash on that card. I have hit upwards of like 38, but I don't want to run so many watts and make it inefficient. Pretty much have most of my cards running efficient wise, so I'm not using too much power. But now that I got everything on 240 volts, that kind of really doesn't matter. But thanks for watching, guys. Stay tuned for more. I'll have more little kind of short videos 
kind of a little easier to do and whatnot. Um, but yeah, give a thanks. Subscribe if you want. Stay tuned for more, guys.